go? What do we do? Where do we put our hope hat on? In the midst of the craziness, in the midst of the lies, in the midst of circumstances in your own life with COVID-19, with everything going on, where do you go? Where do we go? I was thinking about this. I've actually thought about it a lot in the last few weeks, months. You know, my husband said something really interesting to me today that has everything to do with the rest to run in 2021 word. He said, you know, I went to Deuteronomy 28 and I just spoke out aloud. I was reminding God of his promises. Deuteronomy 28, the blessings of God. As I was thinking about this, thinking about a podcast this month or this week, thinking about what are you saying, God? A lot of things he says I often realize I can go back to what he says. And I was re-listening to a word that God gave me so loud, so clear. It was a word for 2019, but at the time of actually getting this word, it was earlier. And it was a word that I have still hung my hope hat on. And you know what the word is? God's hand has turned the tide. If you think I just pulled that out of the sky, I didn't. It was in Psalm 118, in the Messies translation. So I go back there and I say, okay, God, let me, uh, let, me, let me remind you of your word. That's what I would encourage you to do today. No matter what you're hearing, what you're facing, personal in the world, in our economy, in the politics, can I just say to you as a declaration from the word of God, that God has turned the tide. God has turned the tide. So I was... Uh, Looking at that verse, Psalm 118 again, and it's just, you could say, this relates to what we're going through. Starting in verse 5, push to the wall, I called to God. From the wide open spaces, he answered. God's now at my side, and I'm not afraid. Who would dare lay a hand on me? So you can say that. Wait a minute. God's on my side. He's in me. I'm going to learn to manage my inner self with my emotions, take them under the authority of the Holy Spirit, and let's see if we can get alignment no matter what we face because we're aligned. We've got boundaries on the inside of our soul. And guided by the Holy Spirit, I don't have to be afraid. I said all that to say that. Listen to this, Psalm 118. God's my champion. God is my champion. I flick off my enemies like flies. I like to think of this. If an if a emotion comes in, I go ahead and grab it and say, whoa, that's not real. Flick it off and then bring a promise to replace what I just flicked off. Oh, I don't know what's going to happen if feel it, flick it off like a fly. That's what it says. For better to take refuge in God than to trust in people. Let me say that again, which is said in the far better to take in God than trust in celebrities. Doesn't that sound like today? Psalm 118. I'm just reading the word. Where do we put our hope at? Right here. Listen to this. Hemmed in by barbarians. This is pretty, this is just like the message. Listen to this. Think of the barbarians as those enemies to your soul right now. Not necessarily people, because our warfare is not against flesh and blood, but in the heavenly realms, in the spiritual wickedness. So think of the heavenly realms, spiritual wickedness. Far better take refuge in God than trust in celebrities. Hemmed in by barbarians, in God's name I rub their faces in the dirt. Hemmed in and with no way to go, in God's name I rub their faces in the dirt. Spiritual warfare. Taking up the sword of the Spirit. Taking up the helmet of salvation. Putting on the armor. Putting, shod your feet with the gospel of peace. All of that. Barbarians. And our battle is not flesh and blood, but in the spiritual areas of wickedness. Like swarming bees, like wild prairie fire, they hemmed me in. Don't, you can feel like that with your emotions. I feel so hemmed in, but in God's name, I rubbed their faces in dirt. I was right on the cliff edge and ready to fall. Anybody can relate to that in their circumstances. I feel like I'm on this cliff edge. I'm ready to fall, and I hope someone catches me. But listen to this. I was right on the cliff edge, ready to fall when God grabbed me and held me. God's my strength. He's also my song, and now he's my salvation. Hear the shouts. Hear the triumphant songs in the camp of the saved. I want to hear this. I think I hear it in the heavenlies. Hear the shouts, hear the triumphant songs in the camp of the saved. The God, the hand of God has turned the tide. Again, the hand of God is raised in victory. Again, the hand of God has turned the tide. 
Psalm 118, just declaring and reminding God what he said so I can rest in those promises and face each day no matter what I see. I don't watch the news, so I can't say no matter what I see on the news. No matter what I hear, no matter what I do know, I'm just not naming them. We, who needs to name them? It's all there in our face. But do you see that? Do you see hope in that? Can you, take, can you find hope in that, my friend? Can you find hope? Can you rest your soul in that? Can you get up and run, running with those declarations and you feel knocked down? So I just thought I'd come on. Because I don't have much new to say except what God kept, said to me this morning. I said, God, what do I say? And boom, the hand of God has turned the tide. I said, yeah, God, but you said that uh, over a year ago. The hand of God has turned the tide. The hand of God. You get to flick your enemies, the enemies to your soul, enemies to your mind. You get to flick them off like flies because you're spirit driven. You're coming from a place of victory. No fun. Jesus got the victory, guys. You're coming from a place of victory. You're seeing a lot of war, and it's affecting your mind, will, and emotions. It's affecting your soul. So let's do some. Let's do something. Let's get in the Word. Let's remind of the promises of God, and let's do some inner management, being led by the Spirit, so that we can function properly in this day that we live in from the spirit loyal trustworthy patient kind good i told you that um my husband told me this morning that he got up earlier way earlier than me and he just started reminding god of his blessings from deuteronomy 28 can i can i share these just these blessings of god it's in the word it's like let's let's make declarations of what God says instead of what CNN says. Now, it shall come to pass, if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God, to observe carefully all of his commandments, which I commend you today, that the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth, and these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. Are you ready for some blessings to come on you and literally overtake you in the midst of the pandemic? pandemic in the midst of what's the cacophony and the ringing and the what's going on capital and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you i'm ready for some of you to get so overtaken by the promises of god that every day you're just making these declarations you're shifting atmospheres you're shifting the atmospheres in cities states and regions because you've got God inside. Because you know greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. As he is in the world, so am I. Blessed shall be you, you in the city. And blessed shall be you in the country. Blessed shall be the fruit of your body, the produce of your grand, and the increase of your herds, the increase of your cattle, and the offerings of your flocks. It's never too late to have a baby. Someone's debating that because of the day we live in. I'm just saying this prophetically. If it's true, great. If it's not... It's okay. I'm blessed and release and say, yes, have that baby. Blessed shall you be when you come in and blessed shall you be when you go out. The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before your face. Kind of like flicking those flies off. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. So I'm making these declarations. They're in the word. I'm just speaking them out loud, live or recorded, and you get to hear them and you get to maybe go to Deuteronomy 28 and use your voice. To make these declarations or go to Psalm 118 in the message and say over and over, God's hand has turned the tide. God's hand has turned the tide. The Lord will command the blessing on you and your storehouses and all to which you set your hands and he will bless you in the land which he, the Lord your God is giving you. The Lord will establish you as a holy people to himself just as he's sworn to you if you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways. Then all the peoples of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of you. What? Imagine that. Imagine walking with these declarations, walking, and people are, may come to you because you have maybe a place to shake. You're shaking on the rock because the rock never shakes. I just pray that God will infuse you with his promises, which are yes and amen, that you'll truly be put in a place in 2021 to rest, to run, resting, not striving, resting in what was already been said, what's already been accomplished, resting in the promises of God, and then run by making those declarations. Your running is in making those declarations based on what the Lord has said. Pick your own chapter. Go to Psalms. There's tons of them. Make those declarations because I really believe now more than ever before, your voice is needed. You have a voice. 
and let it come from the very identity of knowing who you are in Christ. Let it come from that repair, restore, and rebuild process, Amos 9 verse 11, and rise up, friend. It's never too late to speak. It's never too late to speak. And if you feel like your voice is shaky, shore it up with the Word of God. I'm going to replay on the Kingdom Enter podcast. I'm going to play a section of that of from Psalm 118. The God's hand has turned the tide. Just as a reminder to me and a reminder out in the airways of what I believe God is doing. Don't have that. The, don't have the ways and the don't have the low down on this is going to happen, this can happen. But I do have the low down, and this is God. He is faithful. He will never forget us. His hand has turned the tide. He commands these blessings. That's a pretty cool plan. That's not needs to be focused on. All right. I say all this in love, and I really do love you. Um, DM me on Instagram if this hits you. If you're not on Instagram, share what maybe a verse or a chapter that God's shoring you up in. Someone shared to me on Instagram that Psalm 9 was kind of really hitting them. Um, Dave said, Deuteronomy 28, just go ahead and share something that you feel is being the rock for you in the midst of these times. And hey, I love you. I'm praying for you. You can share a prayer request too. And... Uh, if you want more information, just go to ikingsmedia.com, ikingsmedia.com. All right. Talk to you in the next podcast, and I really do love you. Peace out.